Now, I'll tell you what this isn't today. This isn't a get rich quick scheme. This is not do nothing, click a button, make money. You must be an expert in your craft. You must be willing to help lots of people. And you must be willing to do different things. Like I tell people all the time, right? If it's not broke, don't fix it. If you are broke, time to fix it. If you're an Apple and you bump your prices up to 90 bucks, some people think, yeah, well, this is a really good Apple. I'm going to stay. Yeah. Some people are going to go, fuck this Apple. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. they'll go somewhere else. But what yeah. you got to look at, say you went from 60 bucks to 80, uh, 80 bucks, just for example. Yeah. You'd probably lose, to be honest, you'll probably lose 30% of your members, your clients. Like, no joke, that's what, you, what will happen. Um, yeah. So all of a sudden, you've gone from 50 sessions down to 35 sessions. But at 50 sessions times 60 bucks, you're making 3,000 a week. But if we go 35 sessions, right? 35 times uh, 80 bucks, you know, you're making 2,800. So you went backwards, you went backwards by eight, 200 bucks, man. But you're doing fucking 33% less of the work. So this is the problem where people look at putting their prices up, right? Like with RBT, like we were 85 bucks and I bumped yeah. it to 97. We lost 10% of our members because it wasn't a big price rise. It was only 15 yeah. bucks or 13 bucks. Yeah. Like we lost that, that sort of 10%, but we actually didn't lose any money whatsoever because like the bump in the price versus the members lost, we covered it in the new price that we're charging. If you're great at what you do, you probably maybe only lose 25% of your members. Okay, but that means you're gonna still make 3,000 a week. You're just working 33% less. Like I was a PT for like 12 years, man. I was the same. When I first started training people, I was 30 bucks a session. When I stopped training people, I was 400 bucks a session. Yeah. Now, if I stayed at 30 bucks a session, I couldn't have bought, bought a house, a car. I couldn't support my fucking family. <laughs> it's just like, you know, the CPI increase for like lease. Like my lease goes up every single year by like 1.5 to 3% per the buildings that I'm fucking uh, leasing for an RBT. Like they don't feel upset when they increase their prices. It's just because we have a personal relationship with these people that yes, it is going up by 10 bucks. But I, I sometimes I, I use like a little bit of misdirection, right? So it's like, yep, guys, I'm putting it up by 10 bucks a session, except now I'm adding in this. So all of a sudden they get really excited about what's getting added in and they're like, yeah, man, like you should have put up your prices. And that's what a lot of people will say. It's like, you should have put up your prices a long time ago. We're scared for the unknown. Awesome, bro. I love chatting with you, man. I really appreciate us talking right now and, and I look forward to talking to you in, a, in like uh, two months. That's good. Yeah, it stands out. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it looks way better with the red turf. How sick does it look? I know. So, way better. What's up, brother? Hey, How you doing, man? James, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, it looks way better with the red turf. Yeah. Are we going to pull up the red masking tape? Yeah. If we can leave it for the moment, eh? It doesn't matter. It's we'll on brand. <laughs> <laughs> we just need you to climb up and just undo the... Yeah, yeah, I don't see why not. Whilst you're up there and just yeah. stop landing if you could. Yeah, so it's like we have just on top of that, right? Like it would be coaching it slightly different. Like I don't mind. Like this is just a thought, right? Like you could have a cell here, so it's like a square of you know what a cell obviously looks like. But you could have someone squatting there, someone squatting here, someone squatting here. It still keeps transformation training on this side, but it's like three, six, nine, twelve squatting. Set. It's just an idea. Like, can we do it retrospectively? Why don't we do that? Let's do, that's what I mean, it's still same, same, that's what I mean. Let's do it like that, and then like in 12 weeks, yeah. we get the cross beams, so you can do the chin-ups in between. Yeah, yeah, every day. I think that works well. <laughs> <laughs> you don't capture these moments. This is, the, this is the real gold. This is where the money happens. So yeah, if we're gonna ask them what is stopping them at the mm -hmm. moment, and this doesn't necessarily mean to be your members. No, I think it's just people in general. Ideal customers. It's like, what's stopping you from a... Yeah, what's stopping you 
uh, from achieving your success as a business owner. One, leads. Mm. Why haven't you learned leads? Oh, I don't have time to do all these fucking courses that are out there. That's right. I don't even know what course is working. I don't know whether it's a lack of time. I think it's just that everyone it feels like they feels stuff like to they're do. so fucking busy mm. and yeah. they're so it, that they're the only ones that are ever that busy and nobody else has any concept of how busy they really are yeah. and that they still need to do this but they don't want to actually have to do it four and a half million on facebook ads and hundred thousand hundreds of thousands of dollars of page views optimized through lives digital experience Digital experience. <laughs> <laughs> Liv will be there she, she does, does, she does pages to attain to attain yeah. digitals um, and yeah. money and it's a guaranteed yeah. result. And a guaranteed yeah. result, like, right. Yeah. So you're using our templates that are guaranteed to um, convert. Yeah. So it's like all you have to do literally is rock up for seven hours, two yeah. days in a row, and yeah. you'll have clients. I think yeah, but at the end of the day too, you don't think it was worth 10x your investment, we'll give you money back. I think so. It's, it's manifesting money. <laughs> this is the power just, of running a small business. Just think about it. Do shit because you want shit. Attract it. Exactly. Yeah. Go do that in your nine to five. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing the semi-private at the moment? Yes. Okay. Is it really? Do you want to have? If you want to make ten million, do you want twenty small semi-private studios? And it's just like, okay, I just need a hundred members paying us ninety-seven bucks, ninety-nine bucks a week. Nah, man, you want to make 500, 500k a year, right? You, want, you, have, you have 10 studios doing 500k a year each. It's a $5 million business. The easier the business model, the simpler the scale. If I was to do it again, exactly, man, I would do it smaller and I would scale faster. Like for an RBT, like, you know, each RBT needs six staff. Like you could get 100 members and just do the whole thing with two staff. Uh, you know, one could be an AM staff member, one could be a PM staff member. It's really fucking simple business model. You know, a 500k business in 10 of them is easier than, you know, three million dollar businesses. Yeah. <laughs> if you've only ever made 100k and someone's telling you that you, you can make a million dollars, you're like, yeah. well, how the fuck can I make a million dollars? It's just because you haven't done it, right? It's the same yeah. as like, you can tell someone, yeah, I can get you abs. They're like, I've never gotten abs before. How the fuck can you get me abs? Like, yeah, they're skeptical on yeah. you as well. It's exactly the same thing. So you, I always tell people, it's the same as like Roger Bannister, right? Like, you know, I, I say that name and a lot of people don't know who he is. He's the guy that broke the four minute mile, right? In 1954. Like people okay. thought you would die if you broke the four yeah. minute mile. They thought your organs would shut down. But he did it. And then within two years, 17 other people broke the four minute mile. Now, it's not because like people in 1934 were fucking blessed and born with the gift of running. It's like, he did it. He gave other people the belief to do it. <laughs> <laughs>